Hey, what's up guys? My name's Ollie Stone. I'm the mechanic for Justin Barsha here. Hey guys, I'm Justin Shanty. Today I'm here with Cameron Camera. Hey, what's up everybody? My name's Ollie Stone. I'm a mechanic over here at the Red Bull Truly Designs Gas Gas Factory Racing Team, and I'm a mechanic for Justin Basha. And today I'm gonna show you how to remove and change some uh, rental grips. Ollie will get started by first laying out all the possible tools he'll need to swap these grips. He'll begin by taking his snips and removing the old tie wire. A quick and easy pro tip to removing grips without a razor blade is to spray contact cleaner on the outside of the grip. The contact cleaner acts as a lubricant between the two grip surfaces and allows you to pull the grip straight off. Ollie will use the same techniques on the left hand side to remove his old grips from the handlebar. The next step is you want to take some contact cleaner in a rag and clean off your handlebars to prepare them for the new grips. Ollie will then head to his bench to open up his Renthal grips and glue. It's highly recommended to use Renthal glue when installing Renthal grips, as our glue has been specifically formulated to give a secure bond without damaging the grip. Using a competitor's glue could damage your Renthal grip. Ollie will then apply a liberal amount of glue into the inside of his grip and compress his grip to disperse it evenly. He'll then head to his bike to install the grip. He will quickly and firmly push the grip onto the throttle tube into its desired position. Ollie will then pull up on the flange to burp the grip to remove any air that was trapped during install. You can also use a pick to poke a hole in the end of your grip to remove any air that was trapped in the end cap. Ollie will then apply the same techniques to the left hand side and apply his left hand side grip. He will finish by removing any excess glue and can add safety wire for added securement. 